So preferably method is keypair. So let's create a new instance in AWS. To create an EC2 instance, here either you can select here EC2. Here this is the EC2 dashboards. Then you can click on left side or you can click here. So in left side, click on instance. There is no running instance. Then here, right side, we have the option click on launch instances. Then we have the different Amazon machine images with different OS. So Amazon Linux 2, it is based on the Red Hat. Okay. Then we can create a Red Hat. So here we have to use a free tire. Okay. So there are free tire also that is not chargeable. The Red Hats, SUS Linux, Ubuntu, Windows. So mostly user in the company as a DevOps, we use the Ubuntu. Okay. Then sometimes use Amazon Linux. So some companies are use this. So, but mostly use the Ubuntu OS. Latest version of Ubuntu is Ubuntu 20.04. If you want to use another version, so select here, type here, Ubuntu Linux. So here we have the different, different option. We can use 20.04, 18.04, 16, like one. Okay. That's the mini images. So these are the built-in images. We can use it. Let's select latest version one to server 20.04. Click on select. Here we have the option 64 bit S86 ARM. Okay, we will use S X86. Click on select. Here we have the instance type. So AWS has instance types. Instance types means how much. CPU, memory, then EBS is categorized, all one. So like family. So in interview, they can ask what are the different types of EC2 instance types. So family is T2, then type is T2 nano, micro, then small, medium, large, so different, okay. Different types of. So in the company real-time scenario, we use a C4 family because uh, we have the high-end servers, C4, C5, okay. and sometimes uh, for a small server, we use the T3 medium, T3 X large, okay. T3 X large for CQ, 16 GB memory, EBS. Then we have the network performance, depending upon the performance and requirement we select. But for this session, we are using, we are going to use free tire only. So this is a free tire eligible. This we don't get charged. So select on T2 micro. Then here, keep in mind. So here we have the seven steps to create an EC2 instance. So first choose EMI, then select the instance type, then configure instance, add storage, add tags, configure security group and review and create an instance. So keep in mind to create an EC2, EC2 instance in AWS, we have the seven steps. Then click on configure instance details. Here we have the option of configuring the network. Then here we will select the, how many numbers of instance you want. Okay. So that is one, we can create a more than one then we have the spot instance or dedicated instance that is also instance types then network so by default if when we create a aws account there is a default vpc is provided by the aws so this is the default vpc name then we have the subnet so that we are going to cover in detail in the in the vpc section but for now keep in mind so VPC is a virtual private cloud would contain the CIDR block and it's like a router. So when we install the router in our home, 
so it given that we configure the ip range okay from that ip and range we can assign to the each device same like here we have the vpc vpc contains the ip range so let me go through this So just let's go over you of the VPC. So in, this is a VPC dashboard. So that is this is a uh, big concept of VPC. So for DevOps, we need it. As a DevOps engineer, we have to all these things. Uh, we should know all this the VPC conferring. So for now, just to go through the overview. So by default, AWS provides one default VPC. This is VPC ID. Then we have the, this. IP range, okay, default range for this default VPC. Okay. So from this IP range, we get assigned to this, our EC2 instance. So then we have the AWS provide the three subnet in three different region. So here I am using the region Mumbai region. So here we have the different region. AWS provide the different region you can select any one and this is a region code us east one this us east version means region this is the code for this region then i have created my aws account this is a global region but i am using the mumbai location we can use any one here we have the singapore region also you can use this one also so any region you can use then subnet we can select okay if you want to no preference then you can select a no preference so it will create it will select the automatic subnet then auto assign public ip so when we create our custom vpc that option is disabled by default so we have to enable for the custom vpc for default vpc it is already enabled so mint what does it, what it does mint using this we can get a public IP for our instance. This is for subnet means private IP. Here we get a public IP so we can access, connect our instance from the outside. Then this one uh, is we are not using this one placement group, then capacity, other keep leave it as, as it is. Then advanced section also we are not is not used frequently so then click on add storage the fourth step here you can change the how many the rom or hard disk we want so by default it creates the this partition dev sda1 name it as a root you can add more than one root volumes to our ec2 instance okay for now we are going with this default root volume, then dev sda1, then this is snapshot, then you can increase the size 15 GB. Here volume type like GP2, GP3, IO1. Okay. So in companies we use IO2 is for good performance. Now. That one. Then let's select default one. That is an IOPS that will covering the this come concept what is the IOPS this is all the performance one then if you want to encryption you can use encryption but not for now we don't require this so click on add tax then for now we are not going to use any tag then click on configure security group security group means to open the port so if if you want to access AWS instance, we want a 22 port that is SSH. HTTP port is 80, HTTP is 443. Depending upon the application we want to, we have to open the ports. To open the ports in AWS instance, we have the security group. Then let's select, let's select the default security group. By default, it provides the one security group with, with the default VPC. So let's select this security group. Here I have already opened the already ports. So for this one and this one, so we can modify it. 
So I have opened the keep in mind that you have to open this 22 connect each two instance. Otherwise, you will not able to connect instance. So click on review on launch and click on launch. Then here it will ask for the to create a new key pair. So already we have created the new key pair demo. So let's select the existing key pair, then click on this checkbox to acknowledge it and click on launch instance. Then instance is being created. So click on view instances. Here you can see the status. So instance state now pending, it is creating in the background. So instance are ready to get the all the tests of this instance, you can expand it here. Click on instance here, you will get the, all the details. Instance summary, what is the instance ID? What is public IP, private IP? Then DNS, you can log in from the DNS also. Public DNS, it created the one public DNS. Private IP, IP before DNS. Then what is the instance type, elastic, all the details you get here then security section so what is the security group for this instance what are the inbound rules outbound rules to open the ports go to the security group here we work with only inbound rules to open the port always open inbound rule not on outbound rules okay so to change here you can select here and to open the port here click on hide rule you can select here different option custom tcp ssh smtp http all these ports if you select any one http you select the at port okay like this if you want custom ports you can select custom tcp custom udp then you can open the like 8080 here we have the option anywhere my IP. You select my IP, it will select the my current my broadband IP. If you select custom, here we have the option custom. What custom IP or security group you want to use? If you select anywhere, this is for IPv4, this is for IPv6. It will allow anywhere. To delete this, you can select a delete click on delete if you want to delete this one so let's this 9000 you can select delete here and click on save rules so like this option so let's select whether our ec2 is created or not so now the our instance is running okay but status is initializing no problem so we can connect so click on this instance copy the public ip at before address then open the you have to download the putty so you can select here download click to connect the instance so or you can use you can use this one mobile extreme with other two options you can download you can use this one get mobile extreme or you can use a putty so let's use this putty if to download putty so here go to download place and select the first option download putty and now click on here and for Windows OS, you can select the 64 bit and click on this MSI installer. So click on this and you have to install. Okay. So it will create the desktop icon. Here, click on here, Miss Putty. So this is a Putty dashboard. Let's copy the public address, public IP address, then open the putty, click on 
post name copy paste here to give the our ppk file click on ssh this one then click on auth then select our ppk file click on browser here we have the demo ppk file click on this and click on open so here you can see that it is asking for ubuntu user so let's let me increase the font size to increase the font size click on change setting click on appearance click on font section change then increase the font size click on ok then click on apply so <coughs> So for Ubuntu AMI, means for Ubuntu instance, or we can say that EC2 instance. Username is Ubuntu. For Amazon Linux, username is EC2 user. Amazon Linux, our Red Hat, our Send OS. Okay, that is username is EC2 user. And Ubuntu is Ubuntu. And for Windows, administrator. Okay, so we'll be working with the Ubuntu only. So keep in mind, username is Ubuntu. So here, select the username. Ubuntu, type Ubuntu. Okay, now we have logged into the Ubuntu OS.